Okay, so I'm going to take you through this watercolor exercise we're going to do today for our shape study. So I'm going to share my screen now and I'm going to be narrating a video I made this morning. Let's see if I can find it. So I'm going to close, no, I'm not going to close that. I'm not going to close that. Cancel. Find it. Here it is. <clears throat> so First thing you're going to need is a, um, let me see if I can make this bigger. I'm trying to make this bigger. Let's see. Um, first thing you're going to need is your watercolors. You're going to need a cup of water. Um, you're going to need, um, hmm, let me see, view full screen. There we go. You're going to need a cup of water. You're going to need your watercolors. You're going to need a pencil. You're going to need your ruler and a piece of paper that we gave you in your Art One kit. So, um, first thing I want you to do is hydrate your watercolors, and that is to take water and put them in all of your colors. Don't put the brush in the um, don't put the brush in the watercolor in the in the pigments. Just put it in the um, in the just drop it in so you don't contaminate all the other colors so that's how we're going to start and here we go so you're going to take first thing you're going to do is take your ruler and make a border around your edge and the way i did that was i just the width of the ruler and i went around the paper and i made a square and then i went in and i drew some trees i drew three trees you know the shape of the tree if you're stressed out you can kind of copy mine there is a real-time video that i'm posting that i'll i can you know it's 30 minutes long so i didn't want to do a 30 minute long video because it's just super long so what i'm going to do is um do this time lapse narrated version and then let you kind of figure it out from there so you know one of the things i tell my art one students who are stressed out about drawing look at clip art clip art is a great resource also you can just kind of modify mine. The basics of a tree is there's a trunk and then as the branches go out towards the sun, the branches get skinnier because it, they need to hold, they need to stay there all day long. So if they were really heavy, they would droop. That's why when apples are on trees, the branches droop because it's just too heavy. So after you draw your trees, um, then you're going to mix up a really light watery watercolor and you're going to paint in your negative space, just like I'm doing here. So as you can see, I'm leaving the trees that I drew white and I'm watercoloring in the negative space. So, and do you see how I move my paper to get better access? That is something that you can, you should do. You should move your paper around to get access. Also, um, the paper buckles a little because it's, it's the type of paper it is. That's okay. You don't want to, you don't want to, uh, uh, sop your paper. So be mindful of puddling and you may want to take a dry, you know, your br dry your brush off and go back and pick up some of those puddles just because the paper doesn't have a fiber in it that will absorb the watercolor. So it just kind of floods it and then it, it, you know. So now what I'm doing here is I'm drawing a second, I'm drawing a second row of trees behind the first trees. And so I'm doing a similar thing. Thing, but I'm drawing behind it. And so um, it's important to let your colors dry in between. That's why my uh, real time video is 30 minutes is because it's like, I'm trying to like let things dry and it just took too long. So I'm doing this narrated version. You're drawing a second row of trees. So you have overlap. So you have to think about drawing the branches behind the trees like that. And I'm doing it in pencil. And I'm doing a second row, so a second row behind those trees. And then I'm mixing up a darker version of that blue. Like I'm taking the blue with a little yellow in it, and it's a darker version, so it's less water. So it, it has a darker version. And I'm going to go in and paint all of the spaces that aren't the white or the light green trees. So that's what I'm going to do here. And so I'm going in and, and I, you know, I had to remix the color a couple of times because I ran out, but I'm going behind and I'm looking at all of those shapes that aren't the tree shapes, the, the, the sky, and I'm painting that the darker version. And this is also teaching you layering and watercolor. Um, and it also teaches you um, 
value in space and depth. After you get that, 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 you got the white, the light blue green, the medium blue green, you're going to do a third layer of drawing trees. And so you're going to go in with your pencil. I made mine a little smaller and a little skinnier because as things go back in space, they get smaller because they're farther away. Everything's got to dry in between coats so you don't have bleeding. So I pushed it a little. So areas of my painting will have bleeding, but you know, you do want to think about craftsmanship and controlling your brush. The Crayola watercolor brush is actually, you know what? It's actually a decent brush, but you just don't want to, you got to find that little edge by its pressure. It's a pressure jam. Like you, you, uh, you have barely any pressure and you can get a really fine point. And if you push on your brush, you get a fatter point. But if you barely touch the paper and you have just the point of that brush, you can get all those small spaces. So after I get these trees drawn in, I make an even darker color. And I actually added the darker blue of the color palette to really separate those values. So when you, you know, you can pick any color you want. You can go magenta, orange, yellow, with a white tree, but you need to remember to separate those, those colors. So, and um, one thing about painting layers, whatever's underneath influences what's on top because watercolors are transparent. So if there's yellow underneath and you put like, I don't know, like a, like a blue, it's gonna be greeny. So like this blue has, a, has that, the color from underneath influencing it. So always remember that. And so you go in and paint, that negative space, that, that last layer of negative space. And I, I picked a really dark blue. You can see there's a white tree, the light green tree, the middle green blue tree. And then my very last layer is this darker blue color of watercolor. So um, I just wanted to do this condensed version because I felt like uh, the 30 minute video is just a little too long. So you're gonna have to go do this on your own, but reference back it to this video as much as you need to um, for support or help, you know, whatever you might need. So I'm gonna see, I'm gonna stop sharing. I'm learning about all this and I'm gonna stop recording.